Hey guys, and welcome to Petroped, and welcome to this week's Midweek 180. Well, I've just about recovered from the Goodwood Festival of Speed. It was a pretty epic, well, it was going to be six days, ended up being five because of the Festival of Speed being cancelled on Saturday. And I just wanted to mention that actually. So that was a big decision for Goodwood, the first time in its 30 year history that they've had to cancel one of the days due to bad weather. And it was due to wind. And there was a few comments online. It was nothing to do with the safety of the cars going up the track. The big challenge was the safety of some of the structures on site and the wind rating that they were built to. And the predictions from the weather forecasters the day before were gusts of between 55 and 65 miles an hour. And that was in excess of the speed of some of the structures um, uh, maximum, if you like, allowed. Um, and luckily, <laughs> for Goodwood anyway, um, on Saturday, it was really gusty and they actually had to get everybody off site at 11 o'clock just for safety reasons. So there were people on site sort of making good and, and taking the tarps off the top of shelters and putting cars in trailers and just making sure everything was safe. But everyone had to be off site by 11 o'clock. And it was a real gutter. And I know some of you had tickets for Saturday. The worst, I think, would maybe if you were traveling and you only had tickets for Saturday. But being close to a lot of the guys that run Goodwood, it was not an easy decision to make. Um, and uh, it was the right one, in my view. Um, but if you did go and you had a great time, amazing. I certainly did. Um, but um, let's get on with the Midweek 180. If you've not seen one of these before, this is my Midweek update where I bring you my news, views and information about upcoming reviews, all filmed in one take. I'm going to put 180 seconds in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. And that's it, a very simple format. So without further ado, let's get cracking with this week's Midweek 180. I shall start my timer. Uh, okay, leader of the pack last week was Rod Matheson. Well done, mate. Joined in the Magnificent Seven by Leanne Jackson, Malcolm Brew, Ben Higginson, Francois G, Paul Mead and Michael Kemba. So whoever puts the first comment this week, you'll be my leader of the pack next week. And the first seven comments will be in my Magnificent Seven. Where are you and what you're doing? Well, that was Véronique Paquet. I just love that name. What a beautiful name. Uh, and she was off for a week off in the German hills in Sauerland. Not a place I've been, I don't think. But Germany blew me away when I went on that drive tour with Podium Tours earlier this year. Um, so I hope you have a lovely holiday. But wherever you are right now and whatever you're doing, put it in the comments below and I'll give you a shout out next week. Uh, last week's question was, who of you were attending Festival of Speed? Many of you said you were. I saw so many of you over the days at the festival. And I saw a couple of people wearing Petroped merch as well, which was really, really cool. Um, this week's question, now Foz is out the way. Boo, we've got a whole year to wait for the next one. What's your next motorsport car related event that you're looking forward to going to? I would love to know um, any of them on the calendar because you never know, you might tell me about one I don't know about and I might fancy going. Uh, Formula One, um, we're off to Hungary this weekend, but I last week's Midweek 180, went out just a little bit too uh, late, really. I, I didn't get the Ricciardo news. Daniel Ricciardo replacing Nick De Vries in the Alpha Tauri seat. It's not a great surprise that Ricciardo came in. What I'm really, really gutted for is Nick De Vries. He only got like 10 races to prove that he was quick enough, but I've read a few things and everyone says he just wasn't fast enough. You look at his data and he just wasn't as quick as everyone wanted him to be. Um, big question for me is, will Ricciardo... Um, do this season in Alpha Tauri and then replace uh, Sergio Perez in the number two seat at Red Bull next season. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think that's a good chance, but I feel really, really gutted for Nick De Vries. That's for sure. But Hungary this week, good circuit, Hungaro Ring as well. Hopefully McLaren um, and Mercedes will continue their upward trend. Uh, Festival of Speed, I thought I'd just talk, talk quickly about my cars, uh, my favourite cars of Festival of Speed. I've got three. Um, first of which were up one I drove, which was the Porsche Spyder RS. I drove that on the night shoot on the Tuesday evening. Um, there is a video. If you go to Porsche GB's Instagram page, you'll see the video um, of all the cars converging on the central feature. I'm in the blue Spyder RS. I can't tell you what it was like to drive, but it was incredible to get to drive that car. I love the Hyundai Ioniq. 5N. I just thought that looked wicked. I will be trying to get hold of one of those on the channel ASAP. And then I did a, a video with the Caterham Project V and Anthony Giannarelli. Uh, if you've not seen that, I'll put a link above. You can have a watch of that. Um, this week, very busy this week, I've got a Kia EV6 GT press car got delivered yesterday and I'm off to see Moggy at Electric Classic Cars in Wales tomorrow to do something ridiculous with him. Oh! 
because <laughs> it's been a while since he's been on the channel. And then I also wanted to make sure, if you haven't done so already, I know I bang out on about it a lot. Drive Talk podcast, we did a Porsche Festival of Speed special. We recorded it on Wednesday of last week. It went up on Friday. Um, if you just, just either, I'll put a link to the Drive Talk podcast um, on YouTube. Please head over there, give us a subscribe. It helps so much. Uh, with the growth of the channel. I'm actually off to Podium Place in literally 10 minutes to record the next two episodes of the Drive Talk podcast. We've got a very cool guest for the next episode, um, but it would be great if you um, followed us on that, or if you just search Drive Talk podcast wherever you get your audio podcasts, you will find us. And then this Friday's video at six um, is the Skoda Enyaq IV VRS, which I had uh, a couple of weeks ago now when I went to the Tour de France, but I've also done a full review of it, and it was an absolute banging electric car really really good so there we go uh, massively over sorry about that and you'll be so what i'm gonna have to do now is quickly get in my car and head off to podium place and meet up with joe and pat and our special guest to record the next episode of the drive talk podcast but if you enjoyed this episode of the midweek 180 give me a thumbs up comments below are always welcome and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to petroped for plenty more content to come and i'll see you on the next film which is this friday at six o'clock for the skoda enyaq iv vrs see you on that one guys you take care Drive safe.